Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of our movie ticket booking system in Java. Today we'll be working on admin class. Uh, before we start with methods, I'll be making the admin main menu method which we'll call when admin gets logged in from main java, main dot java which we'll be making as we go ahead in this course. So let's get started. Alright guys, so as far as I can think, these are all, these nine functions are all the functions that admin is gonna need. So we are gonna create a variable now. Mm, take input and admin. Scanner s equals to new scanner system dot n. That's how you take input from se is used to take input in java next up we need a variable choice let's just declare it up here we'll be using it over here now uh, once we have taken the user's choice admin's choice then uh, we are gonna make a switch case on the choice and for each of the cases we are going to call the function Alright guys, so let me explain it, explain to you what we did over here. Uh, you might notice, Gaurav, your outfit has changed, your background has changed. Shush, focus on content, okay? So, we prepared the menu. We gave options to user. For each of these options, we'll be preparing switch case. For case 1, we have prepared the switch case. Case 1 is add movies. Now, another case I missed over here is... Oh, we are using press. Press 10 to exit. Alright. So, also, you might point out, Gaurav, you have missed the while loop over here. Have patience, yaar. I'm just showing you one case at a time over here. We'll be adding the while loop. What I mean by while loop for newbies is that uh, it will run, this menu will run in a loop. And when they press 10, only then the loop will end. The loop will terminate. Alright, so let's move on. Press 1 to add movies. For movies, we are taking title, genre, rating, duration, synopsis. These five things. You might say, Gaurav, why are you taking two inputs for title and synopsis? So there's this thing that Java does, scanner class does, is that whenever you try to enter a string after a number, it will, if you just, if you comment out this part, and just take this one input. What it will do uh, when you enter the number for enter your choice and press enter. It will take that enter as the next line and in title null value will go. So to just deal with that glitch what you can do is take multiple next line inputs. That's one way to deal with it. If you have some better way of course just comment in the comment section let me know. Because we are all here to learn from things, right? Next up, you might see that in movie genre, I am taking only next. So next, in movie genre, genre can be, for now, we are just considering movies from only one genre. So, we just need next. Next line is for titles which have spaces in it. Because that, if we just use next now, that space will act as, separate the values as value 1 and value 2. 
and if you if we try to take next and next one thing generate in suppose in title i typed um, transformers 2 so what will happen if i took input as next over here the transformer will go in title and the 2 will go in generate are you trying are you, are you getting what i am trying to say so yeah just to avoid that you use next line for taking strings strings that might have spaces in it anyways moving on generate we took using next rating we are taking a double rating that is 0 to 5 scale pay 4.9 4.95 anyways duration is in minutes and synopsis again we are taking twice over here because we are trying to take the synopsis after a int value so the scanner class bug will take place over here so yeah let's try it running this code I have prepared the admin class object in a main menu over here let's comment out anything that might show up other than the admin thing all right so we have created the admin class object and we have called the method a dot admin menu let's run this Tada! we have our admin menu over here now let's try running the option one and the movie title as i mentioned to you guys transformers 2 movie genre action sci-fi but yeah we can't use spaces for genre hmm. we should fix it because one movie can have multiple genres right hmm. let's go on for now of course transformers guys this transformers come on fire rating come on fire come on duration i guess it's for 120 minutes synopsis uh bang on follower in the transformers series good enough right enter it shows us movie inserted successfully now to check if the movie has indeed inserted successfully let's go to our mysql client and over here do select star from movies we do that and we notice that this is just our old demo thingy Trans okay this is bugging a bit let's do it again okay it's bugging again <laughs> all right these are just past entries i tried to insert over here you see transformers 2 action rating 5 duration 120 minutes synopsis is a bang on follower in the transformer series so yeah that's our case one working let's get started in case two the case two is press two to see all movies i'll build the code for it but before i start fast forwarding myself as i just wanted to you to know that inserting a break over here is very important or else what will happen case one will qualify and it will check for rest of the cases as well in the switch case so whenever you are done building the code for any case in switch case remember to terminate the thing with break insert break first i would say all right then fast forward or mode on Alright guys, so we prepared the case 2 and 3, 2 is show all movies, 3 is um, set show time for movies. Mm. So let's try running these two and then we'll go on ahead. Option 2, finger cross, we get all our um, listed movies, we do and for option three enter movie id so movie id 
which is our what's the transformers movie id movie id is eight for our transformers movie theater id i think i have put two theaters before for trial so we'll go with one showtime hour let's give it a late night movie so late night movie i guess to eight o'clock sounds good 20 eight o'clock precise showtime added successfully now let to just check if it got added successfully or not select star from showtimes mm, yes it did over here entry number three showtime id three movie id are eight transformer movie theater id is one and it's scheduled at 8 pm so our showtime is working as well let's move on with case four Yeah, I'll do one thing. I'll just code for all the cases and then I'll explain the code in the end to you. All right. This one is going to be a pretty long video from the looks of it. All right. Speeding up Goro now. All right, guys, so uh, that's it for all our cases. That is four, five, and six. We haven't yet, we are yet to make the booking logic. So we can't just simply call over here. Let's just go make the booking logic in our next video. And then we'll return back to admin class. And at the same time, we'll be adding the booking feature in user class as well. So let me just explain this code to you. And we'll put a while loop on it as well. Case one, I already explained that we add the movie. Case two is to see all the movies. Case three is to set a movie available for showtime. So you pick a movie from our database, pick the theater that you want to make it available in, uh, and enter the exact timings of show. So now for taking timings of show, it was a bit tricky because you, we are dealing with data type timestamp, which is SQL package. So what we are playing a cheeky. See, if it works, it works. All right, don't touch it. So that's what we are going with right now. Uh, we are taking the local date and time. In that, we are taking the current time. We are setting the R to the showtime R we took from user. The minute to show time, minute we take from user, the second to zero was because second who, who even asks what's the seconds timing of movie starting. Anyways, uh, then we are turning this local date time to a timestamp type of SQL. And uh, yeah, we are then inserting this into the record, passing it to the method. Yes, that's done and dusted. Case 5 is just see, to see all showtimes. We already prepared the logic in show showtimes. Case 5, add theaters. We end, we tell the user to enter theater location. Now, I think this is going to be buggy. That's why I took two next lines over here. We next up ask user to enter theater seating capacity. We take that value, pass it off. Case 6 is to see all theaters, nothing big about it. So t dot show theaters, that's it. T is the theater object that we created up there. Let me just show you again. Movie object is M, theater object is T, showtime object is ST. Anyways, as I said, seven, eight, nine case, we are yet to make logic for ticket booking. 10 is terminate the program that user want to exit. So system dot exit zero. And default, if user enters something else, it shouldn't just terminate the program abruptly. So we put a wrong choice entered, retry. Now what we want to do is we took a scanner class up here. So we need to close that scanner or it's a resource leak. But it's not asking me for it. But still, it's a healthy practice to close your scanner whenever you are done. So we type sc dot close over here.
Hmm. I guess it's a, since it's not in main class, it's not throwing us error, but it's good practice to close whenever you are done using something. Scanner resource. So, all right. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See you in our next part where we'll be working on the book it lo booking logic and in part next to that we'll be working on user and admin booking and finally in the last part i'll be showing you the entire project working and i'll be showing you how to try it yourself how to clone the project from github repository of mine let's run this oh before running it, let's just add the while loop or we'll forget it later on. Admin menu, we run on a while loop. While true. We open a bracket over here. Take all of this. Till here. Till here. Tab it in. Close the bracket. Correct bracket, right? No. Okay, this bracket belongs to this. Yeah, file loop terminated over here. So let's save this and then try running it. Press one to add movies. We already did that. See movies, put a movie for showtime. We already did all that. Press 4 to see all movie showtimes. Showtimes. Uh, currently, we have three showtimes, so it's showing up over here. Press 5 to add theaters. Let's add a theater. Theater location. Mm, 1, 2, 3. Thane. Station Road, Thane, 400605, enter theater seating capacity, um, okay, wild guess, I don't even know how, what's the seating capacity of a normal theater, so let's go with 200, theater inserted successfully, now to, we don't need to go in SQL to check our theaters because we have set the option over here already. And we can see over here, theater ID 4, location, okay, in location I said IMAX. <laughs> Anyways, this is, that was the old record. This is new records over here. 1, 2, 3, the entire thing, seating capacity 200. Let's keep going. Mm, press 7 to book a ticket. We haven't, alright, so that's it. Let's try with 11. Wrong choice entered retry. Okay, that's working as well. Let's enter 10 and that exits the program. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And if you have again any doubt, feel free to comment in the comment section. I'll try to respond it as soon as possible. Within one day at least. Bye.